वेलकम फ्रेंड्स एंड टॉन मोर एंड वेलकम यू होल इन माई चैनल केमिस्ट्री मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टूडे आई शैल एक्सप्लेन आर आइस्टर्ड रिएक्शन दिस रिएक्शन इज अ होमोलोकेशन ऑफ कार्बोन ए कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड मीन्स इफ वी कॉन्सिडर दिस आर सी ओ सी एल फ्रॉम हियर वी विल प्रिपेयर आर सी टू सी एल मीन्स वन कार वन मिथिलिन ग्रुप इज एक्सट्राइर ओके and this reaction in this reaction the main reagent is diazomethane ch2n2 okay so and this reaction produces carboxylic acid amide and ester three are produced using three different solvents or reagent but proceeds through same intermediate so we'll discuss this reaction mainly i shall give the key points this will be a summary type video and details description if you feel that uh, is missed here please mention me in the comment box i'll make the explanatory video on that so let's start so this reaction is divided into three stage first is formation of acid chloride means from carboxylic acid to acid chloride second is acid chloride to a ketone we can say means diazo ketone more specifically we say it's a diazo ketone and finally rearrangement of diazo ketone to obtain a ketene type intermediate and from here we will have product okay so this is the this is this way we will go i shall explain the mechanism also before going to details let me explain about this reagent actually if i on draw this first this reaction is formation of acid chloride i'll explain second is diazo ketone so before going to details let me give little description about diazo methane it's a very explosive uh, poisonous low boiling reagent and it's act as a base as well as nucleophile and it is the source of this methyl group so actually this is incorporated for homologation okay let's start first is acid to acid chloride formation for this step we can use pcl5 socl2 <clears throat> or pcl3 even cocl oxavinyl chloride okay so if this reagent reacts what it produces phosphorus oxychloride pocl3 what if this reagent is used for carboxylic acid to uh, corresponding acid chloride formation it produces so2 sulfur dioxide plus hcl both are gas so goes outside the reaction medium if pcl3 it forms phosphorus acid so this so this is the three reagent even this is reused it produces carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and hcl so these are the reagent when react with this carboxylic acid produces this uh, produces corresponding acid chloride derivatives okay so what happened this acid chloride right now is more reactive reagent than carboxylic acid itself because if this acid is converted into corresponding acid chloride then this is imposing minus i effect and oxygen also has minus i effect so this carbon became tremendously electrophilic very high electrophilic and that time it reacts with diazo methane okay diazo methane so many people draw it in write it many way strategic some people write this this actually diazo methane has two role one is first one nucleophile as nucleophile second role is as base now why this is nucleophile and base if you draw the structure of diazo methane what does it what do i mean this ch2 and n2 n2 is diazonium cationic okay so this is now this is cationic another thing this is attached to this and this is actually this is the octet filler molecule okay eight electron this negative charge so what happened 
this negative charge can act as a base this is a car negative charge on carbon actually it has a many canonical form for the stabilization what we can do draw that ch2 n n minus in this way many chemical form possible so in this way it is stabilized but negative charge on carbon so it can act as both nucleophile because it is soft in nature even since negative charge on carbon acts as a base so first stage it is acting as a nucleophile and if it acts as a nucleophile then what would happen this goes and attack at the center why because it is strongly electron deficient electrophilic so ultimately it produces r c o CH two N two plus okay plus Cl minus. So first stage is reaction production acid chloride that is we have done. Second stage production of diazo ketone. Why diazo ketone? Because this is a diazo two nitrogen. Azo means nitrogen. Diazo ketone and this. So second stage we have achieved. Third stage what happened? Here two hydrogens are there, and I I told that it can act as a base also. So what happened? This proton is abstracted by another molecule of diazomethane, and this abstraction. What happened? This abstraction produces a negative charge anion. So what it produces? R C O C H minus N two plus. So if I compare the stability versus these and these, you can see that here the cationic nitrogen N2, which is a very good leaving group, and nitrogen is a electron withdrawing atom. So what happens? It was attached with a neutral carbon, and that neutral carbon was attached to a carbonyl group, which is electron withdrawing. Means electron withdrawing from this side as well as this side. Both was operating. Consequently, this molecule was reactive. Secondly, since both are withdrawing, the acidity of this bond is enough. That it could be abstracted by diazomethane. Actually, diazomethane is a weak base. Why? Because the negative charge is delocalized. So that's why it's not that much strong. But this withdrawing effect makes it acidic enough that diazomethane can produce this. And what happens after this proton abstraction? Diazomethane becomes this one methyl. And consequently, when this proton abstraction happened, it became neutral because this is minus, this is plus. So this plus another chloride was there in reaction medium. So what happens? This chloride further attacks here, and nitrogen leaves. As we know, in my substrate uh, nature of living group uh, slide talk, I have explained. Please go through that uh, video. That if the living group is cationic and gaseous, means going outside from the reaction medium, then this reaction is very good. Although the nucleophile is not that much. Good enough, but living group is very good. That's why this reaction undergo. In this way, it is a more logically, if I say, it is a SN2 type reaction. Okay, so in this way, the chloride is consumed. Okay, and it is an important factor because if chloride is not consumed, then it will not allow the formation of the final product. Okay, so what happens this time? This time, this R group migrates here. This leaves and this negative charge goes to here because to fulfill the your octet of this carbon. Okay, so what happens? So after this, it produces R C. Sorry, uh, this is okay. R C H double bond C double bond O, and this is called ketene. Previously, it was diazo ketone. Both you can consider both diazo ketone. This and this both are diazo ketone. Right now this is called ketene. Why? This is keto. This C double bond O is we call is as a keto, and this is keto, and this is in similar type of molecule you will see uh, aline where both are carbon. Okay, so that is a difference. So this is keto, this is in, and what happens that this ketene, which is a very electron deficient molecule, is produced. Why it is very electron deficient? Because you can see this carbon is attached to electron withdrawing oxygen delta minus delta plus. Okay, and its hybridization. Keep it in mind. This is not sp two. This is sp hybridized. So this factor, please keep it in mind. So this and this is electron deficient. 
So this intermediate actually producing the carboxylic acid. How? So in presence of silver, silver oxide and water. Okay. What happens here? In presence of silver, silver oxide, water means actually I am drawing, writing it as a nucleophile. Uh, why I will explain you later. So nucleophile with lone pair. So nucleophile attacks here and it goes there. So what it produces? So this produces R C H C O minus any. I guess you have understood. Okay, lone pair. And here was one double bond. So it is an enol type derivative. So it attacks here. This opens and means after abstraction of proton it abstract actually this is neutral medium so OH and this tautomerization happened and or this you can consider as a keto enol type tautomerization so this produces R CH2 C double bond O in so this is and this is our product so why I told N because if Instead of silver, silver oxide, you take water, then product is NU is NU, then N, if NU is water, then product is carboxylic acid. If NU is ammonia, and in that case, that should be silver nitrate, ammonia or silver nitrate. So if the nucleophile is ammonia, then it will produce amide, and if the nucleophile is methanol or alcohol, Okay, alcohol, then like one H is be replaced with methanol or methyl group, so that is ester. So what I have drawn previously, this is. So this is the O, means very basic crude explanation of this r dystrophy reaction. Okay, so another thing, some important things are there in the middle. So what are the important? For example, this rearrangement, okay. This rearrangement is called Wolf rearrangement, Wolf rearrangement. And what happens here is the R group retains it configuration. So in during so during rearrangement retention in configuration. What do I mean? I mean if the R group is asymmetric means if this this is if we consider this C R one. R2, R3, 3 and this is an asymmetric means asymmetric center then the asymmetry is maintained after this rearrangement. Okay? Okay. So I will details explain because not only this the cool free element this reaction would be done in terms of light also. So that thing I shall explain it uh, in a subsequent video. So this is mainly the r star reaction. Now so the most important or confusing question is I told that that CH2 group which is causing the homologation is coming from diazomethane. Is there any another proof? For example, we can we can do by labeling study. Can we prove it another way? Yes, we can prove. Strategy is if we take this Br plus metallic magnesium, it will produce Grignard reagent. Phenyl magnesium bromide. If we react this in presence of carbon dioxide with star, means this is we can say labeled carbon dioxide or carbon 14C. So it produces carboxylic acid with a labeled carbon dioxide. Okay. After that, if we do R nester reaction, what do I mean? For example, stage 1 thionyl chloride, stage 2 diazomethane. And stage it is excess. I'll explain why. And stage three is silver, silver oxide, water. So finally, the product what we will achieve CH two C double H and this is. And how this could be decarboxylation of carboxylic acid? We can do that test and find out that the labeling carbon uh, carboxylic carbon is present here. Okay, now. Another thing, why this is this uh, diazomethane is used during this reaction as excess? 
Because if you don't use this diazomethane as excess reaction, will not occur. First case, diazomethane reacts with as carboxylic acid chloride one equivalent, okay, to produce that diazomethane. So one equivalent is needed here. Okay. After that second equivalent, means first equivalent as nucleophile is acting, second equivalent is acting as a base. So here, so that's why needed. So confused question is, if we use only one equivalent, what will be happening? So if we use only one equivalent, then product will stop here at this position. So if it stops at this position, then you can see nitrogen is a good living group it will leave and we know if the living group is very good and second this is alpha alpha to carbonyl okay so i have explained why alpha halocarbonyl is very much efficient for sn2 reaction because of conjugation with this group and second is the minus i means minus i uh, minus r effect of both this group are operating and another thing orbital conjugation means sigma star and this sigma star and this pi star they combine and produces a third molecular orbital which is lowering energy and that's why this reaction is special. Please, I have uploaded one video about the SN2 at alpha halocarbonyl. Please go through that, it will, you will have a clear knowledge. So, right now, what will happen? These will attack. Okay, since it's a good nucleophile, a bad nucleophile, but leaving group is good. So, what will be the product? R C O C H2. Here. This is alpha halo So this is another method. So in, where instead of no acid, no acid or base mediated alpha halogenation of carbonyl. We know base results in trial when it's complete uh, halogenation and acid result monohalogenation. But instead of acid, this is so this is a good method if these are containing acid sensitive group. So this. So this is another application of this R-dyester. Although it's not r -dyester. this is a branch of this reaction. So we can have an alpha halo carbonyl. So these are the important point or in summary about r diester reaction, which I have explained here. So I guess it is helpful for you. In next week, next video, I'll uh, upload a dedicated topic on diazomethane about this property. Okay, fine. So this is the end of today's discussion. If you like my teaching, please give a like and subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification and finally or most importantly, please share this video among your friend such that many people will be benefited from, your, uh, from my effort. So see you in my next video.